The Ultra Hand ability is arguably the most important new power available to you in Tears of the Kingdom. It lets you pick up objects, rotate them on multiple axes, move them in space, and attach them to other objects. I got to wondering if this could be implemented somehow in Game Builder Garage. Now a fully formed and complete version of the Ultra Hand is just impossible full stop. Attaching objects is where it really falls apart. You'd need tens or hundreds of teleport nodon and channels to keep objects attached to each other and unique and player decided configurations at runtime. Something like a teleport exit for every single attachable surface on an object and then a teleport entrance attached to each dimensional side of the attaching object and actually trying to think about it gives me a headache. So at least the attaching function is definitely off the table. I think the quickest and easiest way to implement it would be using the motion control ability of the hand node on. So if you have a switch light, I'm sorry, but this won't work for you. We're starting out like usual with a simple person character and they are trying to cross this gap between sky islands. Sadly, he can't climb or glide, so he's got to get creative with the hand node on. The build is actually really simple. I never really ventured into using the hand node on and other motion control features, so this would be a quick and easy way to start learning it. We'll start by adding in our hand node on. It's under game screen or camera, first person, and you can pick the hand that you want, either right or left. It has two inputs, forward, back, and a grab input. It could also attach to things if you want to start the game with that object in your hand. When you open it up, the developers know that it's a little bit more complex of a nodon, so there's a bunch of information on the right, and it's useful to read through and make sure you know all of its features. We're going to leave the settings as they are and add in our button to control the grabbing function. I'm going to use the R button since that is the button to pull up the ability wheel in Tears of the Kingdom and just attach it to the grab input. Then we'll take out another button node on and this time use the directional up and directional down. These are going to be for our distance. I want to be able to move an object forward and backward in space. Left and right will be determined by your hand movement. This way we have full spatial control of an object. And just because the signal of one isn't really strong enough to move the object at an appropriate speed, we're going to add multiplication node ons and put in a constant to multiply the output. I'm using 10, but you'll want to adjust that based on how big your game world is and how quickly you want objects to move forward and backward. Then we'll just take those outputs and run them into the hand node on. I'll add in an inversion node on to get the down directional signal to be negative so that it pulls the object toward you. And that's basically the setup for the build. The rest of the work is going into all of your objects and changing the can be grabbed setting, which is located under other and making sure that only the right objects are grabbable. Now, once we go to play test this, you can kind of use your hand node on to locate an object, grab it. You can use the directional buttons to move it forward and back. You can use your hand to move it left and right, and you can rotate it on specific axes. Now grabbed objects will phase through player objects and things connected to player objects, but once you let go of them, they'll react again normally, and they'll react normally with each other. So you can get into a lot of interesting situations by using grabbable and movable objects. Now to rotate things, it's not that simple, but it's really not hard either. You just plainly face the object and grab it, and then rotate your camera. You'll also rotate the object while doing that. You can rotate it around your character like that, or you could rotate it horizontally using your wrist. So we'll use our ultra hand ability to get across the gap. You can use this for a lot of different things, just manage the grabbable settings on all your objects, and you can even do some interesting platforming with it. These little islands remind me of those floating square objects in the Great Sky Island that you can use. I'm sure you can come up with some interesting platforming uses for this too. And throwing around objects with the hand node on is just fun. I think this gets close enough for a game builder garage implementation, and if you have an idea on how you would do it differently, let me know since I've been thinking about this for a while. 